okay so problem statement determine the reaction at the support of the beam as shown in figure okay beam ab is a simply supported beam at a is a hinge support at b is a roller support so first of all draw the free body diagram of ab beam so at a it is hinge support so that's why there is a two reaction At A, it is a in support. That's why there is a two reaction. One it is R A Y. One it is R A Y. R A Y, and second one it is R A X because of in support. In horizontal direction, it is R A X. R A X. So at C it is five kilonewton load it is acted. Five kilonewton. Okay. So A to C distance it is two meter. This distance it is two meter. A to D C distance it is two meter. Okay. So at C it is will be couple load it is acted here. This one it is couple load it is rotation. How it is rotating? It is rotation clockwise direction. So it will be 12 kilo newton meter in clockwise direction. Okay. So C to D, it is UDL load. UDL load it is 3 kilo newton per meter. To convert this UDL load, it is in point load. Okay. So it is acted center of B, C to D. It is acted center of C to D. Okay. So convert this UDL to point load. So 3 into so UDL load it acted C to D. So C to D distance into meter. So 3 into 4, it will be 12 kilo newton. It is acted in downward direction. Okay. So UDL load it is acted C to D distance. So C to D, C to D distance it is 4 meters. So that's why it will be acted 12 kilo newton in downward direction. 12 kilo newton in downward direction. Okay. At what distance from the C it is 2 meter from C, 2 meter from C, 2 meter from C and D distance from 2 meter. From D it is 2 meter. From D it is also from, from D it is also 2 meter. Okay. So at D, so this one it is at D, at D it is one couple movement. Okay. That's couple it is anti-clockwise direction. One couple movement it is acted anti clockwise direction, so it will be three kilo newton meter. And this couple it is three kilo newton meter, okay. At D, so D to B it is UVL load that is uniformly varying load. So, first of all, this UVL load it is converted it is in point load, okay. So, how it is convert it will be one half, one half base it is three meter and height it is six meter, six kilo newton meter. One half three into six, it will be nine kilo newton. Nine kilo newton. So where it should be acted? It should be acted two third from D. Two third from B. D. Two third from D. It is means two two third base. It is three meter. Two third of D. It will be two meter from D and one third from B. Okay. So it will be acted. So this. Point load it is nine kilo newton, nine kilo newton. At D distance it is two meter from D. Two meter from D. Okay. And at B it is roller support. Roller support. There is only one reaction in vertically upward direction. R B. Okay. So from B it is one meter. From B it is one meter. So the distance it is one meter. Okay. One meter. Okay. So now apply the equilibrium equation. That is summation M A is equal to zero. Summation of M A is equal to zero. Summation of M A is equal to zero. So for this for that assumption, if the moment it is the moment it is clockwise direction, it will be take negative. The moment it is clockwise direction, it will be take negative. If the moment it is anti-clockwise direction, 
it will be take positive the moment it is anti clockwise direction it will be take positive okay so take moment at a is equal to 0 so this one it is a a point here we need to take all the moment at here okay so first of all this 5 kilo newton load how it is rotating this 5 kilo newton it will be rotating clockwise direction okay it will be rotation clockwise direction about the a so clockwise direction so it will be 5 so it will be clockwise direction it is minus minus 5 into so perpendicular distance 5 to a so this distance it is 2 meter so this distance it is 2 meter okay the next one this is couple it is acted how it is rotating this couple so this one it is also clockwise direction so this couple it is rotation clockwise direction see here it will be rotation how it is rotation it is clockwise direction so it will be clockwise direction it will be direct minus 12 okay there is no perpendicular distance because it is couple movement okay so actually it is movement that's why it will be write down directly minus 12 okay then third one this is 12 kilo newton so 12 kilo newton how it is rotating it is rotation this one it is also clockwise direction about the a clockwise direction it will be negative minus 12 into perpendicular distance it is about the a it is 2 plus 2 4 meter so 4 okay then next one this one it is couple movement 3 kilo newton meter so how it is rotating it is rotation anti clockwise direction See here it is rotation anti clockwise direction so rotation it is anti clockwise direction okay rotation it is anti clockwise direction so anti clockwise direction it will be positive so plus 3 okay then this is now now 9 kilo newton 9 kilo newton is rotating about the a it will be clockwise direction okay so clockwise direction where consider it is negative so minus 9 into perpendicular distance it is 9 to a 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 2 8 8 okay then last one this one rb rb how it is rotating rb about the a it will be how it is rotation it will be anti-clockwise direction so anti-clockwise direction it will be positive anti-clockwise direction it will be positive rb into rb into perpendicular distance it is b to a 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 2 9 so 9 is equal to this 0 okay so from this relation it will get rb value minus 5 into 2 then minus 12 and minus 12 into 4 minus 12 into 4 then plus 3 minus 9 into 8 so it will be minus 139 plus minus 139 plus rb into 9 rb into 9 is equal to it is 0 is equal to it is 0 so from this relation it will be get rb is equal to 139 divided by 9 so it will be 15.44 kilometer 15 point four four kilo newton 15.44 kilo newton. this one it is rb okay summation fx is equal to zero summation fx is equal to zero okay so in x direction there is no force in x direction all the forces are vertically direction so ra rx it will be zero rax is equal to it is zero Rx is equal to this 0. Okay. So now apply third equilibrium equation that is summation of y is equal to 0. Summation of Fy is equal to 0. Summation of Fy is equal to take positive. The direction of force it is upward, it will be positive. The direction of force it is downward, it will be take negative. The direction of force it will be downward. The direction of force downward it will be negative. Okay. So first of all, R A Y it is going upward direction. R A Y. Then second one it is this five kilometer it is going downward direction. So minus five. Then 
then third one this is 12 kilometer is going downward direction so minus 12 then 9 kilometer it is also going downward direction so minus 9 then rb it is going upward direction so plus rb is equal to 0 rb value we know that rb value we are already calculated just put ray minus 5 then minus 12 then minus 9 plus rb it is 15 point 15 point or four is equal to zero. Okay. So from this relation, it will be get R A Y. Okay. Write down R A Y is equal to R A Y R A Y is equal to R A Y is equal to R A Y is equal to minus five then minus twelve minus nine plus fifteen point four four. So it will be ten point five six. R A Y it is ten point Five six kilo newton ten point five six kilo newton. Okay. So reaction at B it is fifteen point four four kilo newton. R A X it is zero and R A Y it is ten point five six kilo newton. This is your final solution. Okay.